Top Tableau Interview Questions and Answers 2023. Whether you're a fresher, experienced professional, or somewhere in between, we've got you covered with Tableau interview questions for freshers, scenario-based interview questions and answers, and specific questions for experienced candidates. From scenario-based questions that put your knowledge to the test to tailored questions for experienced candidates, we're here to equip you with the confidence and expertise to excel in any Tableau interview. But before we start moving forward make sure to subscribe channel and click on the bell icon. Sprint Seal provides training programs, certification programs on their websites. If you're interested in them do check out the links in the description. Here we have listed the most frequently asked Tableau interview questions that will help the professionals in clearing interviews and getting jobs. Tableau interview questions and answers, set 1. Let's start with some basic Tableau interview questions and answers. What is a column diagram? A section outline envisions information as a bunch of rectangular segments, their lengths corresponding to the qualities they speak to. The vertical pivot shows the qualities, and the flat hub shows the classes they have a place with. In the multi-arrangement section graphs, values are gathered by classifications. Name the different forms of data types that are stored in Tableau. Tableau supports different kinds of data types dashboards in the IT portal. The Tableau consists of seven data types which are known as Boolean data type, date data type, date and stamp data type, geographical values data type, text or string data type, decimal number data type, and whole number data type. The Boolean data type is basically a true or false type of data type, which helps in classifying any kind of data as true or false. The date data type has usually used the word a particular date to a record. Date and time data type is basically a date along with a time when a kind of records. The geographical data type is used to geographic classify where the record was made to make the user understand the user understands the classification of the record. The text or string data type is used to add any kind of text to the data type. There are two types of number data types which are the decimal number and the whole number data type. They are used with a decimal number to the data type or a whole number to the data type. Name all the different products under the name of Tableau, and what is the latest version of Tableau? In an overview, we can say that there are primarily five different products which are known as Tableau Desktop, Tableau Reader, Tableau Public, Tableau Server and Tableau Online. Tableau Desktop is basically a self-service platform where different kinds of business analytics or several data visualizations are shown for public access. To access a person's data warehouse. And also functions to enhance Tableau's data engine. Tableau Server is basically enterprise-level Tableau software. It was to publish several kinds of dashboards or reports that are shared throughout several organizations. Tableau Online allows a person to access the Tableau desktop for free. This is one of the most beneficial applications under Tableau as it allows people to get access for absolutely free, and it is extremely easy for them to access the data. The only limitation of the Tableau reader is that the reader might not have access to edit the records. Tableau Public is basically software that helps in the visualization of their records in the form of dashboards. 4. For what reason do we visualize data? People react to and measure visual information better than some other sort of information. Indeed, the human mind measures pictures multiple times quicker than text, and 90% of data communicated to the cerebrum is visual. How do we differentiate between TWB and TWBX? It is very easy for a professional to actually differentiate between .twb and .twbx. A .twb is actually an XML format that consists of several layouts, which are a part of the table with the book. The .twb does not contain any kind of data or information. A .twbx is basically a file that contains the data of .twb, but this folder is a zip folder, which makes it unaccessible for a lot of people. Tableau Interview Questions and Answers, Set 2. Let's get into Descriptive Tableau Interview Questions and Answers. What is the bar graph? A bar outline shows information as a bunch of rectangular bars, their lengths relative to the qualities they speak to. The level hub shows the qualities, and the vertical pivot shows the classifications they have a place in. Thus, the bar outline is a vertical form of the section diagram. In multi-arrangement bar diagrams, values are gathered by classifications. They are additionally favored when the class names are long or to show positioning. What is a line outline? A line chart is the most mainstream sort of information representation. 
When in doubt, it is utilized to stress patterns in information throughout equivalent time stretches, for example, months, quarters, monetary years, etc. It shows data as a progression of information focuses called markers, associated with straight line fragments. The X pivot holds the classifications, while the Y hub holds the qualities. What is a stacked bar outline? The stacked bar chart is made out of various bar arrangements stacked on a level plane in a steady progression. The length of every arrangement depends on the incentive at every information point. Stacked bar charts make it simpler to follow the variety of the multitude of factors introduced next to each other and watch the adjustment in their aggregate. What do we mean by stacked column chart? The stacked column is actually a part of Tableau, which helps in the proper arrangement of the stack vertically. Every arrangement's length is controlled by the incentive at every information point. Stacked column charts are an incredible alternative in the event that you need to notice the adjustment in every one of a few factors at the same time and in their aggregate. You should pick this kind of graph just on the off chance that the quantity of arrangements is higher than two. With only one arrangement, it would be the column chart. What is the slope graph? A slope diagram is a great deal like a line chart in that it plots changes between focuses. Notwithstanding, a slant chart plots the change between just two focuses, with no sort of respect for the focuses in the middle. It depends on the possibility that people are genuinely acceptable at deciphering alters, of course. Diminishing and rapidly rising increments are effortlessly recognized. Tableau Interview Questions and Answers, Set 3. Let's take a look at some technical Tableau Interview Questions and Answers. These are basically Tableau Interview Questions and Answers for experienced candidates. What is a waterfall outline? The waterfall chart type is largely used to comprehend the impact of a few positive and negative elements on the underlying value. Focuses are used to show the cycle of the underlying worth change and can be in one of the three states, increment, reduction, or aggregate, subtotal. The middle of the road ones represent the progressions. What is a heat map? A warmth map is a visual portrayal of information that utilizes shading coding to speak to various qualities in a grid. Basically, this sort of outline is an information table with a lot of lines indicated by various arrangements of classifications. Each table cell can contain a mathematical or intelligent value that determines the cell shading depending on a given shading palette. Warmth maps are helpful information representations for contrasting classifications, utilizing shading to underscore connections between information values that would be a lot harder to comprehend in a basic table with numbers. What is a bullet chart? A slug diagram is a variety of visual charts created to replace dashboard checks and meters. A projectile diagram is helpful for comparing the presentation of an essential measure to at least one other measure. It shows dispersion, indicating progress towards an objective behind the bar. What do you understand by measures and dimensions in Tableau? As we have understood, there are different forms of data types, and there are several forms in which data and records are stored in Tableau. The two formats in which data is stored are measures and dimensions. The measure is the metric or numerical format in which several quantities of data are stored and analyzed with the help of a dimension table. All the measured data types are basically stored in a table that contains foreign keys that are associated with a particular dimension table. Dimensions are basically a storage format through which measures are stored in Tableau. These data are attributes of a particular value that have multiple characteristics. What is a histogram graph? A histogram pictures the circulation of information over a consistent span or a specific time frame. Each bar in a histogram speaks to the arranged recurrence at every stretch, container. The absolute territory of the histogram is equivalent to the quantity of information. Histograms help give a gauge with regards to where esteems are concentrated, what the boundaries are, and whether there are any holes or surprising qualities. They are likewise helpful for giving a harsh perspective on the likelihood of conveyance. Tableau Interview Questions and Answers, Set 4. Let's get into some advanced Tableau Interview Questions and Answers. What are the different types of joints that exist in Tableau? There are very similar joints in the table and SQL joins. They are very much identical, and their functioning is pretty much the same. There are four types of joints in Tableau. The first one is known as the left join. The second one is called the right to join. The third one is known as the join, and the fourth one is called the full outer join. What is an area chart? A zone graph is an outline type dependent on the line diagram. It additionally shows data as a progression of information focuses associated with straight line portions. However, the zone between the X pivot and the line fragments is loaded up with shading, for example. 
The territory graph underscores the greatness of progress over the long run and can be used to feature the absolute incentive across a pattern. For instance, a region's outline showing benefits after some time can accentuate the absolute benefit. What is a choropleth map? The choropleth map shows separated topographical regions or locales that are colored, concealed, or designed to correspond to an information variable. This gives an approach to estimating values over a topographical territory, which can show a variety of examples across the shown area. What is a tree map? A tree map is a perception that shows progressively coordinated information as a bunch of settled square shapes, with parent components being tiled with their youngster components. The sizes and shades of square shapes correspond to the estimations of the information focuses they speak to. With the help of the data set, what are the different kinds of connections, we can establish in Tableau? When we talk about the different connections that we can make with the help of data types, we understand that there are two major connections in Tableau. They are known as live connections and extracted connections. The live connection is basically having a direct connection to the data set with the help of different computational processes. The recent queries in the data type will be directly registered within the data during the usage of live connections. But the usage of extract data connections is basically to form a static snapshot of different data, which is basically used in Tableau's data engine. The snapshot of data can be scheduled as a whole or incrementally, depending on the form of the data. Tableau Interview Questions and Answers, Set 5. Let's understand some interactive Tableau Interview Questions and Answers. What do you understand about the Tableau data server? The Tableau server can be considered a middleman between the users of Tableau and the data stored in Tableau. This is one of the most important tools because it makes the different forms of data and records that are stored in Tableau accessible to users. The Tableau data server also allows the user to upload and share different types of data extracts and preserve database connections. A few other features of the Tableau data server include the ability to reuse the calculations and field the metadata in Tableau. The basic meaning of the statement is that any user who makes any kind of changes to the data sets or the calculated fields or parameters also has access to save and share the edited file with others with a safe and secure connection. The edited data is basically shared in the standardized data set, which holds the criteria portfolio of Tableau. What is an organizing sheet in Tableau? A configuration sheet contains arranging settings that control the whole worksheet, just as individual fields in the view do. What do you understand by Tableau Data Server? One of the most important and vital features of Tableau is the Tableau Data Engine. The simplest definition of a Tableau Data Engine is that it is an analytical database that is designed to have an instant query response. It is also programmed to enhance predictive performance and integrate the existing data infrastructure in the best possible way to enhance the functioning of Tableau. The Tableau Data Engineer is actually considered one of the coolest features of Tableau, as it solves the majority of the problems in the easiest possible manner. The only drawback of the Tableau Data Engine is the difficulty of dealing with large amounts of data. It takes quite some time to import the data and create an index after categorizing and sorting out the data. Name the different filters that exist in Tableau, and how do we differentiate between each filter? When we talk about the filters that are used in Tableau, we understand that the primary use of filters in Tableau is to restrict the data from the database. It is very important to learn the table as it is and make sure that every particular piece of data is filtered in the best possible way, which makes it easier for analysis and categorization. Basically, there are three different filter tables, which are known as a normal filter, a quick filter, and a context filter. The normal filter is basically used to restrict the data from the database, keeping in context the selected dimensions in Tableau. The normal filter is actually a very traditional filter, which was the first filter to exist after the existence Tableau in the year 2003. It is very simple to create a normal filter, as it just requires some basic knowledge about the usage of the computer hardware. A quick filter is basically an option used to filter the different worksheets that are available on the dashboard. It is known as a peak field, as it usually provides a filtering option that helps the user change the values dynamically during the entire time while processing a quick filter. The most important and useful filter in the Tableau is the context filter. The purpose of the context filter is to filter all the data that is transferred from one file to another worksheet. As the majority of the data types in the interview Tableau require a lot of editing and shifting, the context filter is very important as it includes all the values that require fertilization. What is a dual access in Tableau? A lot of users use Tableau to access different types of data and information. 
As we have understood, Tableau is actually one of the most beneficial ways to analyze data and categorize it in the best possible way. A dual axis is basically a feature that is supported by Tableau, that enables the use of two different scales in the same particular graph. This is a very important feature of the table, as it compares two different comparables of the same measure. TUM makes the analysis of data more efficient and beneficial. The dual axis feature has benefited a lot of websites by showing a detailed comparison between the growth and decline of two different measures in a particular set. This makes the understanding of data mode beneficial for the user of the particular website. As it is basically made to measure different comparables, it also provides great analytical data to the organization about the growth of the individual product. Tableau Interview Questions and Answers, Set 6. Let's take a look at some of the most commonly asked Tableau interview questions and answers. What is the basic difference between a tree map and a heat map? Mapping in Tableau is basically a form of a graph that is used for the identification of different segments of different categories. There are primarily two types of maps available in Tableau, heat maps and tree maps. The heat map is basically used to conduct comparisons between different categories with the help of different colors and sizes. It is mostly in the form of different shades of red, and this is the reason why it is actually called a heat map. The heat map allows the user to compare two different comparables altogether. But the function of the tree map is mostly the same. The visualization of the tree map is extremely strong and powerful in comparison to the heat map, but the purpose of comparing two different categories remains the same as in the tree map. A tree map is considered to be more beneficial than a heat map as it also supports comparing hierarchical data in the map. What is a portion of the graphs you stay away from and why? 3D outlines they slant the visual impression of the numbers, making them troublesome or difficult to decipher or think about. It likewise presents superfluous graph components like sides and floorboards, which aren't just an intellectual burden on the cerebrum but, in addition, erroneous. Pi outlines. This isn't as exact as bar diagrams or position-based visuals. With Pi, we are making a decision about zones and points, which is substantially more troublesome than the length of a bar outline. Our eyes can't attribute quantitative qualities to zones and points appropriately. Donut diagrams. This is like the Pi outline, yet with an opening cut out in the center, so it would appear to be a donut. Since there's an opening in the center, we don't pass judgment on qualities by point any longer. All things considered, we need to contrast one bend length with another curve length. Our eyes can't attribute quantitative qualities to circular segment length appropriately. What are intelligent dashboards? Dashboards empower us to interface with different components like channels, boundaries, and activities and cut up the information to improve bits of knowledge or answer complex questions. What do you understand by extracts and schedules in the server of Tableau? When we talk about data extraction tables, we understand that they are the first copies of the actual data from the data source. Data can be considered your first photocopy of the different data stored in the data source, and it consists of the same identical information as the parental data source. The data source makes the usage of workbooks smoother and faster in comparison to the DB connections, a workbook with the help of the Tableau server. The scheduling Tableau refers to the allotment of tasks at a particular point in time. This allows the user to schedule a particular data set and its editing at a particular point in time which makes it easier for the workbook to exist without refreshing. Here ends the list of Tableau interview questions and answers. We hope you find this list helpful. To explore certification programs in the data science field, chat with our experts, and find the certification that fits your career requirements. If you found this video informative and useful, we'll always bring new concepts explained for you. So stay tuned with Sprint Seal and if you like the video do share. If have any doubts or queries do let us know in the comment section. Use the coupon code YouTube10 in our website to get 10% off on all our courses.